welcome to our cuisine today i'm gonna be making a chicken meatball so what is this this is the chicken this is the um, chicken legs i buy it from the supermarket and what i did i debone everything you see this is the skin of the chicken and this is the bones what i did and i put those chicken in the side see so what i'm gonna do those chicken i'm gonna make a meatball out of it like you know when you go to the supermarket those big chicken legs those those big chicken legs so i debone everything you see this is the meat of the chicken now so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this in the um, blender and blend it okay so i'm gonna blend it without putting more because it's too much it's a lot of chicken though you see i debone some of it so what now i'm gonna put them in the blender and blend it what do you need for those Need a peanut butter a peanut butter any kind of peanut butter on your choice you need a peanut butter and some season okay I'm gonna show you my season the one I'm gonna be using okay you need the onions because mine is a lot so I need two onions and two pepper and some black pepper this is black pepper and this is my Maggie season. This Maggie season is very good. I always tell you guys, it's very cheap, but it's very tasty. And uh, my meat season. I love this meat season. It tastes very good too. So what I just did first, this is the first batch. I already um, blended. I did not put nothing on it. Just blend it because it's a lot. And this is the other one now. The, the other one I'm gonna be doing them right now. So I'm gonna blend this and put everything on it and mix them together. So you see what I'm doing right now? I'm gonna blend everything. I'm gonna see if it's nice, if it's saggy. If it's saggy, I'm gonna add some flour. If you put flour on there, the flour gonna make it thicker for you. That will help a lot, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blend everything and put in the bowl like this. And after I'm gonna blend the onions. I'm gonna blend the onions and um, Everything separate and put in there and mix it with the peanut butter. I'm gonna show you guys what to do, okay? Okay, so I already finished um, blended the batch all day. This is all my chicken I'm gonna be cooking today. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna blend the um, onions separate. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm gonna put all the seasoning here. Season the um. I'm gonna season everything here, the onions and pepper. So when you do this right and you pour those season on it, those stuff, that would give you like, that would make all the um, meat to be seasoned. If it's a little bit saggy, you can add some flour to it, okay? Because what I do before, like I used to put them together with the, with the chicken, but, the, so I'm gonna add the uh, black pepper and my Maggie season, okay? I'm gonna add those seasoning to this to this blender right now. And uh, if you wanna add the pepper, you're gonna add pepper. I wanna put the pepper, but I just decided I will not put the pepper because if I put the pepper, those my kid they will not eat it because it will be too spicy for them. So I I changed my mind. I will not put the pepper. You wanna put pepper? You can put pepper. And ginger because all those stuff is spicy. My son don't like spicy, so that's the reason why I don't want to add those. You can add a little piece of ginger, hot pepper, um, and the onions. Whatever good stuff you like, you can add everything here and blend them together. Okay? You can do that. Wait, wait. Okay, I just add the black pepper, the maggi, and um, and the beef seasoning to it. So I'm gonna blend those. Okay? Okay, so you see, I just blend everything now. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, you see, I just blend everything. Raw blend, and this is the um, this is the meat. So I'm gonna pour everything in the meat right now. Okay. Okay, this is the um, onions, the one I blend, and this is peanut butter. So what are you gonna do? Mix them together. You need to wash your hand. Okay. So you see, it looks saggy a little bit now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some flour to it. So I'm gonna add some flour. The flour gonna help. That will make it more, more thicker, like the way you want it. 
So you see, you need to mix it very well. This is one easy way to do it because this is a lot. If you try to put this in the blender, and blend it with the peanut butter, sometimes it will break your break your blender because it will be so thick and the you see very easy. Okay, so I just add some more peanut butter. Need more peanut butter, so I'm gonna mix it back again. Can I to help you give you that thick next to it? Okay, so that's the flour. So you see what I'm doing with the flour? So, so the flour gonna be more lighter. So I'm gonna add the flour to it to make it more thicker. So you see? I already had uh, some on, um, so now my husband gonna help me out. He's gonna add some more flour. You're gonna keep in adding flour till you see the way you want it. If it's nice and thicker, you're gonna stop. Look at this. Okay. So you see, you're gonna add that flour. The flour gonna help you more thicker. And you're gonna add the. Uh, You see? Mm. Okay, see, I add more flour because that flour was not enough, and I add some seasoning. And I'm gonna keep it doing it. If you see, it's saggy, just add a flour. The flour gonna help you out to give you the thickness you want to have like to make sure the meatball is nice and thicker this is the easy way to do meatball trust me you see you not see no no onions or no pepper on it because if you put everything inside like that you will see all those extra onions flying everywhere but you see this is nice and smooth you're not seeing nothing and you're gonna try if it's nice and salty like the way you want it okay and i'm gonna show you Guys, I know how to make the meatball. Okay, I just want to show you guys how to do the meatball, okay? So you see, you're going to take a, a piece like this. Just a piece like this, and you're going to make a ball out of the meatball, okay? Just want to show you guys how to do it. You see, I did a lot of meatball today. Because it was a lot, so I just was like, let me just finish doing much of it, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You see my meatball? A lot of meatball, and I'm going to fry all those meatball. So you see? Very easy. I bet you everybody know how to do this. This is easy. You just make a big ball out of it. Just a ball. That's it. So easy how to do it. I think everybody gonna everybody going to know how to do this. See? Very easy. Just a bowl. Another one. Because I hate doing meatball because it's a lot of work. You see? So that's a meatball. So I just want to show you guys that, okay? And I'm going to put the pot and start frying it, okay? Okay, now so I already put the oil. Now the oil is hot, so it's time to fry the uh, meatball. Okay, you see? The oil is not that hot, hot like the way I really want it. You see, it's not like too hot. Anyway, that's fine. You can want to, you can wait when it's hot. So it's time to fry the uh, meatball. You see, this is the meatball. I got so much meatball. A lot of meatball, so I'm trying the meatball right now. So, all those meatball I'll show you guys, I need to fry everything. So, this is not an easy work, it's a lot of work. Okay, there you see, 
everything needs to be fried. So I'm gonna do that now, okay? Okay, so you see the meatball is ready. You see it like this, you see? It's almost done. So I have another clean bowl. So I'm gonna put those meatball inside this bowl, okay? So you see, you're gonna remove it out of the oil like this. You see, so you need to make sure you're gonna. I'm gonna fry all those like this, okay? So I got a lot of work to do. So you see, this is my first batch, it's finished, and this is oil. And I'm gonna put all those rice inside and fry it. So I'm gonna start making the onions. So this is onions I need, okay? So those are the onions I need, and one big tomato, and this, this is the bones of the chicken. I'm gonna fry those too and uh, tomato paste and I'm still frying it because it's a lot so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna blend those onions in the blender if you want you can add like a um, hot pepper and I'm gonna add one garlic too I'm gonna peel some garlic okay so this is garlic so what I'm gonna do I forgot I did not peel the garlic so I'm gonna peel one garlic one big garlic like this okay if you don't like garlic, fine, you, you don't need to use it. So I'm gonna peel the garlic, I'm gonna blend the garlic and the tomato with the tomato paste. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna fry all this. I'm still frying. So I'm gonna show you guys what to do, okay? Okay, so I already... Okay, so I already put those stuff in the blender, so I'm gonna blend all this, all those stuff. This is tomato and the onions and the tomato paste. And this is the rest of it. I'm gonna blend those first and after I'm gonna put this rest of it, okay? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna blend those and I'm gonna show you guys those later, okay? Okay, so those are the chicken bones. Those are the chicken bones are frying. I already fried the rest of them. So this is the chicken bones. And this is the sauce I'm gonna be making. And I have the rest inside the um, blender too. And I'm gonna change the pot to a bigger pot. This is my meatball, I already fried all the meatballs, all those meatballs already fried. So I got everything in the um, bowl. So I can finish, when I'm finished, um, this is the last batch of the um, chicken. So after fish frying those bones, and I'm gonna start making the, um, the sauce. I'm gonna be making a meatball stew today. So I'm showing you guys how to cook meatball stew. So this is the one. Okay, this is the chicken skin. The chicken skin, right? You can fry this to. You can make like a like a like a like a some kind of chips with it. I'm just gonna show you guys, okay? So you see what I'm doing now? Frying. It. Need to season it very well. When you season it, after you're gonna fry it, you're gonna fry it till it's very hard. And after you're gonna make like a chips out of it. Like me and my kid, we love chewing it. After when you fry it very nice and keep poopsy, then after you are gonna chew it just like that, okay? And it tastes so good, I'm telling you. So this is a little bonus I always make for the cake. Okay then. So this is my little bonus for the cake, man. See? And it's nice and um, runny now. You need to make sure it's like a nice, like a, like a little bit of hole, like a chips. Okay? This is very good. You see what I did? I put some paper towel on the plate. So the excess oil will be on the um, paper towel, okay? You need to do that. So you don't want no extra oil on it. 
look like? It looks like a chip saw already. You see that? You know they'd be selling this in the supermarket, right? They have this in a, they have this in the supermarket, like they sell it for a dollar. And when you eat it, it's just this, the skin. You just need to make sure you season it. When you season it, then you fry it. And it tastes good too. Anytime I have a chicken, chicken, um, the chicken skin, I always do this. Very tasty. You know, sometimes there's some people do this with a pork too, like a pork skin. You always see that in the um, supermarket, right? So this is the same thing like that too. Spanish people have like a name to call it, I don't remember. But it's very tasty. It is because I don't eat pork. So, so this is how I do mine. So chicken skin. Very tasty. See how we look like? Nice. Mm. So this is the rest of it. I'm gonna be frying too. So Okay, I just changed the pot to a different pot now. So what I'm already put the oil. This oil is ready hot. So what I'm gonna do now? This is the on on this on the onions and the put on. <coughs> sorry, onions and um and the tomato paste and the tomato ball and the garlic. I blend everything so it's now it's time to put those stuff now I did not add no hot pepper because for my kid they don't eat a hot pepper okay so if you want to add hot pepper no problem you're welcome to do that I don't want it spicy so you see time to add this oil was hot already this is the same oil I was using to fry the um, the meatballs so I don't need to wait till when it's hot so let me just add everything you see I'm adding everything now Mix it. You see, I'm mixing it now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water inside this and rinse it, okay? Okay, it's time to add those season, okay? Those same season I showed you guys before. So this is the steak season. I'm gonna add the season now to it. I know what I'm doing so if you don't know what you're doing you can add like the um, take a spoon and measure the season okay you want to put a little by little till you got it right okay so like me I know what I'm doing already so that's the reason why I'm just pouring it just like this okay you want to make sure you season your food very well because if you don't season your food very well we're never gonna taste right I always tell you guys that okay all right then so when you do the season like this you're gonna try and make sure it's well seasoned so this is the um, sauce I'm doing right now. So you see, I'm gonna mix it very well like this and I'm gonna close it into this fry. I'm gonna let it fry. And after, I'm gonna show you guys what to do next, okay? I'm gonna add one, I'm gonna add like a two sasson to it, okay? I love sasson. Sasson give you that kind of nice red to it. I'm gonna add two sasson. I just remember this is sasson because some people don't know what is sasson so this is sasson sasson is very good I cook with sasson all the time <laughs> I just sneeze sorry so this is sasson you can put sasson with any kind of food you want to cook soup like a stew like this is good sasson is very good okay so I'm gonna add sasson and I'm gonna cover it okay okay now so you see the onions is cooked already, so you see, so the gravy, the oil is almost up, so you see, 
So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put the meatball now inside the um, gravy, okay? Okay, I just add the meatball to it. So now I'm gonna mix it. So after mixing it, I'm gonna add the water now to it, okay? Okay, so... So okay, now I'm gonna add the water. So this is the water. So I'm adding water right now. Okay, so there's a chicken bouillon I'm gonna be using. Five chicken bouillon. This is um this is called Maggie. And this is a Maggie, like a different kind of Maggie, okay? This is um, those American Maggie. So when you go to a supermarket, you can find those. I'm going to use five of those, okay? Okay, so I just got some uh, potato. So I'm going to add some potato. I'm going to add some potato, so. Okay, so my mouth is cooking. So I'm going to add potato now. If you want, you can add like a carrot to it. If you want, you can add carrot or cassava. Like any kind of vegetable you like, your own choice. You can add that, okay? It really is not just like you need to add just, just a potato. No, any kind of vegetable you like, you can add to it. It's good to cook with the vegetables, so that would make you eat your vegetable, okay? So, that's it. And you're gonna cook it till you till your vegetable cooked. And you see like the water is going down like the way you want it. I think basically that's it. So you see I'm gonna let it cook. So my vegetable, the one I just put, everything gonna cook. That's the final. Okay, this is my final product now. So you see. It's ready, the food is ready now, you see? My vegetable, everything is cooked. The water is not that much water, it's little water, like the way I want it. So that's it. So thank you for watching our cuisine. I love you guys so much. See you guys another time. Please go and subscribe, subscribe. The more subscribe I have, the more video I'm gonna be posting. One thing again, make sure your food is tasty. Always make sure you put enough seasoning to your food. If you don't put enough seasoning to your food, we're never going to taste good like the way I always said it. So nice. Thank you for watching our kids once again. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.